In this nitty gritty Let's Play live stream at Mahjong Time, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong Leap card. If you haven't tried playing at Mahjong Time yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about their VIP trial. I want to give a shout out for moderators. Thank you so much for helping monitor chat. Let's go ahead and join a table. There's one right here. Welcome to the live stream. I'm still eating my dinner, so I'm going to have my avatar up while I do that so that you don't have to watch me chew. Hi, Susan. Welcome. We have <clears throat> a pair of flowers, four, eight, and bams, one, two, five, six, eight, nine in cracks. We have a six dot, white dragon, and a west. Well, whatever we do, we're going to use flowers. Maybe something in two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I think so. Actually, I think we could probably let the west go and pass the nine. Here we go. Hi, JL. Hi, Lana. Hi, Evelyn. Welcome. We're likely playing a 2468 hand. If I could click a tile. Let's let the six dot go. We might be able to play either the concealed hand under evens or the pair hand. Tonight we're going to talk about when to call a discard for your first exposure. Basically, when to a commit, when to commit to building your hand. One exposure does not lock you in place. So there's still flexibility with one exposure, but I think there are some variables to consider before you commit to, a, to claiming your first discard to make an exposure. Because every time you make an exposure, you're giving away information about your hand. So just because you can call a discard to make an exposure doesn't mean you should. And if you're playing a hand where you can call a discard to make an exposure, sometimes you can wait and either have that exposure be maybe a Pung instead of a Kong, or maybe consider using a Joker later in the game to help you complete that particular block. Here's our first multiple with number tiles, a five crack. I think we should definitely keep going. Because that is our first multiple, I think we should switch from evens to consecutive run. Let's let the eight bam go. We have a three and a one. We may be able to do a little odd hand. Let's let the eight go. And maybe this, a two band. Let's let the two band go. Two different suits, two eight, two suits. We got a three. Here we have west nine dot. Let's let the two crack go now. We could either do something with little odds, one, three, five, or we could play something consecutive. We've got one, three, five in here. I think we can focus on that. 
and we can pass two. That's how many they want. So that sounds good to me. Let's let the four go. Let's see here. We have three and five, maybe keeping, let's let the six go instead. Um, can everybody hear me all right? For some reason there's a west wind. I just upgraded my, or not upgraded, but I updated north wind my streaming software and there's a big red north dot on wind. it i wonder if that means we're live can One everybody bamboo. hear me and see me okay six dots let's let this west go riley west wind. no oh <laughs> Eight oh characters. no all right, so we have Eight one wins. four in dots, one three four six in bams, one three five in cracks. Our multiples are with the flower and the five crack. Okay, thank you, JL, Lana, thank you. So we'll discard that eight, eight crack. Characters. Nine characters. Nine bamboos. Two characters. We definitely don't need a nine ma'am. Nine bamboos. Yes, that's Riley. I think Dudley was out in the nine front yard. Nine bamboos. Thankfully, Dave is home, so nine he was able bamboos. to corral him. <laughs> He's going to bribe him with pepperoni, I guess. All right, so now we have a pair of fours and a pair of fives. Four or five consecutive run. So I think we could go ahead and let the ones go one dot eight dots five dots we're not ready to call anything one character there's a flower one okay character. now maybe we five could play the dot. second hand down one of the things that i consider Five before claiming a discard to make an exposure is North do I know wind. what hand I'm playing? If I know what hand I'm playing and I have no gaps, then I'll consider claiming that One discard bamboo. to make an exposure. Right Five now, the dots. only thing we could claim would be a flower for a pung. And because One we have no dots. gaps for that second hand down, I would consider it. Three we have dots. a ways to go with the four bam and five crack though. Okay, there's another flower. So I would like likely cons, cons, um, I would likely play that second hand down at this point. Let's discard the three bam. Three bam. So I'm thinking four five mixed suit cons with flowers, and we could pound the flowers. Seven dots. And I probably would. We just need a little help with the four bam and five crack oh. in this case. The other thing I was thinking is we could White maybe dragon. switch to like numbers with fives or like numbers with fours. So not only Seven do we dots. know what hand we're playing, but we have two potential hands West wind. with the same level of risk. East wind. Or I suppose if you want to think of it positive on a positive side, the same optimization. Seven characters. We're optimized. We have two different hands we could play two characters and right now those hands can use any number of jokers one character four dots seven characters seven crack just discarded seven characters Three bamboos. Five bamboos. Okay, One so dot. since a five bam was discarded, and oh, all, all three are out, so that's what I would discard here. Five bamboos. 
We're still in the middle game. Three characters. By about four picks. Nine characters. So we need to start thinking about safe four discards. Bamboos. That's our tile, but we're not ready for it. We're going to need a joker there. Unless we switch to three, four, five, mix suit Kongs. Let's let this white dragon go. White dragon. Four oh, bamboos. did I? All right. I guess I missed a joker exchange. I was probably either complaining about Dudley or talking about the hand. Three bamboos. That's all right. This game is very forgiving, so if you make a mistake, you can recover. Four characters. I'm not worried about it at all. All right, so let's discard six bam. Six bamboos. I think one reason why people get nervous playing this game, especially if six bamboos. they're new to the game and they're playing with experienced people, is they feel pressure Nine characters. because Wet they're afraid rain. to make a mistake. So, everybody makes mistakes, even experienced players. And Three I know dots. it's easier said than done, Kongs. but try not to feel pr that kind Six of pressure. Bamboos. You're going to make a mistake. No, Nine characters. Probably every time you play the game. Not every game, but probably Three whenever dragons. you play the game, you could make a mistake. And that's okay. It's a game. So it's South wind. no lives are at risk or anything like that. Green so dragon. just try to have fun and relax. We have Green dragon. some potential for a gap hand now. Second hand from White the bottom dragon. under consecutive run. And there's a joker for us. Let's discard the three crack. Three characters. We could still play four or five with flowers. Five now that we have a joker, two. let's Kong that. Let's go ahead and Kong. Kong. And now we could uh -huh. maybe discard, let's see, with four flowers, let's discard the six crack. Six characters. Maybe we'll get a joker there. No, I guess not. Red dragon. So we, right now Six we have bamboos. one joker available for exchange, the five crack. One dot. Okay, no twos are out. Let's let that go. Two dots. South wind. One dot. One bamboo. No flowers have been exposed yet. Or discarded, I should say. All right, let's keep the south. That's the safest discard. Let's see. Four crack. Should be okay. Four and characters. these two tiles, the four dot and the six crack, those should be safe too. Two bamboo. Nobody wanted either one of those tiles. And they were both recently discarded. Two bamboos. North wind. East. Two are out. These winds should be safe, so Four let's keep dots. that. Somebody still could be playing Four a dots. wind hand with singles, so it's a little risky holding on to the east. Two bamboo. Still no flowers are out yet. Four characters. That's kind of a surprise because there's already two out. That should be safe later. Let's let the east go. East wind. Eight bamboos. Kong. Two dots. Seven characters. Ooh, we got a joker. One bamboo. Well, that'll be helpful because we need two jokers for the four bam. Two dots. And right now there's still one joker available for exchange. Two bamboos. Eight characters. Let's hope we get that five crack. 
Five dot. Five dot? All right, let's let the six go. Six characters. There are three five dots out. We still Eight need flowers, dot. and no flowers are out yet. Six characters. Three characters. We got another Joker. Five. That's dot. nice because we need it. <laughs> Easy. Since I missed that seven dot. But you could see American Three Mahjong dot. is very flex. It's flexible and it's forgiving. Two dot. <gasps> we got the five crack. Five characters. We'll let that south go. South wind. So now we're ready to win on a flower. I don't think anyone's going to throw it, though. Joker. I, I don't imagine anyone would throw a flower right now. What would be nice is if Nine that last bamboo. pick is a flower. Red dragon. White dragon. Okay, this is the last tile, so we're going to discard the Joker. Joker. We got ready. Nobody wanted that white dragon. But we'll go around and look at everybody's hand, see what we got. So we were trying for four or five with six flowers, and we did get ready, but we discarded the Joker at the end because someone still might have been able to use that white dragon. Here we have three, six, nine, and one sooth. Second hand down. They needed flowers. Of course, we had four. Here's one. It looks like they're playing two, four, six, eight, eight. Second hand down. Mixed suits. They needed an eight crack, and it, the last eight crack just went down um, a, just a discard or so before the end game there, or the last tile. There, there it is right there. And then here we have like numbers with sevens and dragons. The two, the red dragons were out, so they were going to need jokers. They also have a pair of flowers there. So we have all the flowers in people's hands so that was a bit of a challenge oh thank you thank you very much all right we're gonna wait for another game to start now what yeah no flower in the end game very likely although last last week i think it was I played and somebody discarded a flower because they were ready to win and it was within the last two picks of the wall so some people will risk discarding flowers it just depends on how much they want to win and if they're willing to pay the price <laughs> you got to count the cost and sometimes people decide to go ahead and discard a risky tile as long as they can accept the consequences with dignity, it's every player's prerogative. Let me just check on emails and social media. Make sure, I want to make sure nobody's having trouble finding us. I haven't heard anybody having any trouble lately. Let's see. We need two people to join the table. I forgot to refresh my drink. Okay, while we're waiting, I'm going to get a drink, okay?
Let's see. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Carol. You just missed one game, and it was a wall game, so it wasn't uh, all that exciting. Let's see. Kathleen says, if I'm waiting for just one tile on my hand, I am very likely to throw a risky tile. Lately, that has been costly <laughs> for me. Yep, it can be. A flower would be one of the riskiest because there are four are eight in the game and so if someone's waiting on a flower and some have already been discarded let's say that could be pretty risky hi jingles welcome and in that the case of that part, the game that we just played the flowers were in everybody's hand there were there were no flowers out at all so that would have been very risky so you want to look at what is in the discards and other exposures to decide if you want to risk discarding that tile. Maybe we'll have an opportunity to do a object lesson. Did I go over the question from Monday night? What was the question on Monday night? I'm sorry, Carol, can you remind me? Okay, we have a flower, three, four in bams, one, eight in cracks, one, three, six, eight in dots with a pair of ones, a pair of white dragons, and a joker. So I think we should build around the one dot and the white dragon. Maybe, maybe we could play like numbers with ones maybe we could do one three five with dragons we will have to discard this flower let's see with the one dot we would need the one bam in order to use both of those multiples i think we could discard let's say three eight and six one of each suit We have a two dot right there. One, two, three, one, two, three dragon. Um, it had to do with when you, yep. And that is what we're talking about tonight. So Carol says, uh, when you should pick up a discard and risk exposing a joker or something like that. Yep. That's one of the things, or that's what we're talking about all throughout this whole live stream. That's the topic for us. So, we talked about it a little bit in the first game. And we're going to use that as a talking point throughout the, this episode. It's going to be all about claiming a discard to make an exposure with or without a joker. So we have one, two, three building. One, two, three with the matching dragon, I would probably play that second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. We have no gaps, and I would commit to any discard in this situation because we know what hand we're playing and we have no gaps. We did just get a one dot and a green dragon. So here we could potentially switch to like numbers with dragons. And if we do that, we would be playing a gap hand. We have no one bam and we have no red dragon. So I probably wouldn't do that. And I would keep going in the Charleston here. I would focus on the hand that we have where we have no gaps. And that would be the second hand from the bottom. We would have to discard a one dot to play that hand but I would hold the one dot for a bit because we could still maybe play the set, uh, third hand down on the left under consecutive run. Here we have like numbers with eights. I typically don't pass like numbers. So I think 
here what I would do is let the one dot go. For the hand we're playing, we only need a pair and we have no gaps for that hand. We would need a little help with our flower, but there are eight flowers in the game and so I think the risk is minimal. Um, yes, I saw that Jingles. That's okay. As a creator, he can go live whenever he wants. Let's see. Let's discard the eight crack here. Mm, let's see here. Oh, we got a keeper, a three. That's nice because now we can use this joker to help us with our flowers. We have tiles we can pass, so I would pass fully here. One dot. We need a pair there, so we're okay. Six dot. Two dot. Um, we need a pair there, so we're okay there. We need a flower, really. Let's let this wind go. West wind. East wind. Four bamboo. So we can pung the three dot. We could pung the white dragon. East we wind. just need a flower in here. So I'm going to discard this eight dot. It's on the edge of eight the run. Dot. So these edge tiles are not as efficient and Seven therefore dot. they may be discarded or not used as Sound much as wind. the inside tiles which would be three through seven three through seven two dot oh yeah we're good there we need a three dot all right <clears throat> let's discard the one one character so right now we have four five six in discards four dot. Mm -hmm. hopefully we can get a joker out of these at least one of them. North wind. North wind. <clears throat> oh, we got the one again. It's already out, and we have no gaps for the hand we're playing. One dot. So no gaps. I think we could go ahead and commit to this hand. Four dot. Six bamboo. That's a pass for us, so we can discard that next. South wind. Okay, two. Well, let's let the six bam go first. Six bamboo. Six bamboo. Thank you for the thumbs up. That helps the channel. Appreciate Three it very dot. much. Okay, that we can pung. So we're gonna pung, this will be a pure pung. We're not hmm. risking any joker loss there. Two bamboo. And it's okay to make an exposure there because we have no gaps with our hand. The next exposure we need to think about because once you have two exposures, everyone will know what hand you're playing. So you could risk them forcing when, a wall when. game which could hurt the development of your hand. Let's discard this nine dot. Nine dot. Six dot. Five bamboo. That's not a keeper for us. South wind. We got a flower. 
five bamboo. So now we're set for this hand. We need to con the flowers Four and we need to pung that white dragon. If a white dragon goes down, I would call it. We're in the middle game. Everyone is still building their hand Green and we, we would be ready to win if we took an, a, a discard for an exposure with the white dragons. So nine bamboo. I think the risk would be worth it. Let's let the dragon go here. Red dragon. Six characters. Nine dots. So we're looking for a white dragon or a flower for that second hand from the bottom. Nine dots. Okay, west. I think we should keep that and let the four go. Four characters. I like holding a, a tile that I would be very confident discarding as my last discard before being ready Sound to win. win. Sometimes it's a little disconcerting when you're holding white a dragon. wrist. Oh, there we go. That's a pun. I think we should go ahead and take it. Hmm. And now we can discard this West, which is already out. And of course, everyone's going to know West what we're wind. playing here. We're playing the second hand from the bottom, Nine but there is characters. one other hand it could be, and that's 135 with no flowers. One that's bamboo. the third hand from the bottom under odds. One character. But because there are two white dragons out, or wind. white dragons, because there are two one dots out and we discarded Eight both bamboo. of them, if anyone at the table was watching that, they're going to be able to tell what hand we're playing. And it would probably Seven be characters. that second hand from the bottom because we discarded the one, one dots. So we're waiting for a flower right now to win. White dragon. And I would two play to characters. win. We're heading into the end game in about two Seven more dots. picks, three more picks maybe. North wind. Eight dots. We got we got a winner here. We drew a joker. So we'll mahjong. We have the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Four flowers. Pear pear pung pung. One, two, three, and the matching dragons. So let's check out what everybody else was doing. We have two, three, four, probably one suit Kongs, but they defined it green dragon. So I think they were trying for the same hand, second hand from the bottom. If I were them, I would not have defined that Joker and I would have used my Jokers to Kong two, three, four. That way they're not gonna need two more flowers they have their pair and their hand is set if they play two three four one suit kongs and look maybe they were trying to get a dot for that hand i don't know but that's what i would have done if i were them here we also have a consecutive run hand with the dragon again but because of where their tiles are pair three pair or pung five and then a pair of sixes I think probably three, four, five, one suit Kongs would have been a, a good hand for them to play. And then let's see, the red dragon, see they would have to have, either way they, they really would have discarded the six crack. I think they were in between that third hand down and the second hand from the bottom. Oh. And here it looks like like uh, probably like numbers with eights. Probably like numbers with eights, but they couldn't get flowers. They might have been trying for mix suit consecutive run maybe, but they had a ways to go there. Okay, let's see what we can do in this next game. All right. Oh, thank you for the kudos. Let's see what we can do with these tiles now. We have a pair of flowers, one, three, five, eight, and bams. Eight crack, 
five Aiden dots with a pair of eights, green dragon and a white dragon. I would build around the multiple, the multiple being the eight dot, and here we have a pair of flowers. So whatever we do, we'll use the eight dot and the flowers. We could maybe play like numbers with eights, so I would hold the eights and the dragons. Since we are holding a pair of flowers, the dragon we would want would be the green dragon, so we could use the eight dot pair and the eight crack. Here we have a one, three, five for discards. This is gonna be a little bit risky. I think I'd rather keep the eights though for like number. I would wanna build like numbers. We got a keeper, the eight dot, so now we have five, six, and one for discarding, and that's fine. It's a little risky with a five, six, but every pass is gonna have some risk, no matter how you slice it. Here we have seven, three, nine. We could maybe do something consecutive, like seven, eight, nine mix suit Kongs. This would be the third hand down on the right, but we have, let's see, we're in the, first left. I wouldn't pass blind here. I would probably focus on like numbers and let the seven and the nine go. We have plenty of fodder with like numbers, I think. And let's see, one thing we might do is let, we could let the white dragon go and keep the green Actually, no, I don't think so. I'd rather leave my options open for the third like number hand. So here we have a seven crack. One of the hands I was thinking about is the second hand from the top under consecutive run. We're gonna keep going and we have to make a decision. I would let it go and focus again on like numbers. We have options. We can do either the first hand or the third hand. We got a white dragon. That doesn't really help us though with this pung, uh, pung of eights in there. The only way we could use the white dragon with the eight, well, it would be if we played the two, four, six, eight hand, but we're not gonna do that. That's the fourth hand or fifth hand down under evens. The other thing we could do is maybe the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run, but we have two pair gaps. So I wouldn't do that. I think what I would do in this case is pass the white dragon. I wouldn't want to pass a flower. One thing we could do, see, I wouldn't pass a, I would not pass a flower. No, no, not going to do it. I was thinking we could maybe play the middle hand, but we'd have to discard a flower. I'd rather use it. All right, so there's a seven bam. We can pass two. I think I would wanna pass fully to hopefully get a keeper for our like number hand. We got a nine dot. That I don't think is gonna be very helpful the white dragon was going around. It could be in the player's hand to our right or the player across from us. I think I would let that go. So we'll do two. They want two, we can do two. So we're looking for eights. Maybe a, a red or a green dragon. A green dragon would be nice. We got the seven back. All right, well, that's nice. We could maybe consider One that character. second hand down under consecutive run, so I would keep it One just for character. a little bit. We have two discards before we have to make a choice. You really don't have to pick a hand until you characters. run out of discards. All right, ones, we're gonna let the ones go. One bamboo. Nine characters. White dragon. Oh, we'll pass. So it was the player across from us. 
two bamboos. We'll let the one go. One dot. We are getting two, four, six, eight in here now. But Nine we won't be bamboos. able to use the pair of flowers, so I would let them go. Nine I'd characters. rather use the multiples. Build around the multiples. Five characters. Okay, five bam. Let's see. Let's let the two go. Two dot. Seven characters. That would be a pass. I think somebody else might have a seven in North their hand. Wind. The play it would probably be the player to our One left. character. Okay, five crack. That's not a keeper for us. Five characters. At the moment we can only call a discard for the eight dot and I would I would call it because we have no gaps. If you have no gaps for the hand that you you're targeting then it's okay to commit Nine and make dots. an exposure especially if One you have bamboo. options so we could maybe One play dot. the first like number hand or the third like number hand we could even still seven play that characters. second hand oh nope not anymore not with two sevens out i would let that go now flower Okay, I would pass on that because we don't know which like number hand we're playing. We could be playing the third hand down and we only need a pair there. Three characters. Plus there are eight flowers, so I would just let that Seven go. Seven characters. Flowers would be one tile that you could pass on. Three bamboo. Even until Pung. the end game. Flower. There's another flower. We're going to pass. Nine dot. Pass. Okay, north was just discarded. Nobody wanted it. North wind. Even though there are, well, maybe someone is playing a wind hand, but they weren't ready for it. Six dot. Because there are no other winds out right now. I think this Six north bamboo. was discarded from the player across from us, if I remember Seven right. Seven characters. It could have been discarded from the player on our left, or by the player on Nine our left. Dot. Okay, so now we have a couple of jokers to work with. Six characters. We could maybe play like numbers with eights and the green dragon. I think this white dragon West probably wind. can go. Nine characters. Let's discard the white. White dragon. Eight bamboos. All right, now we could call that with the eight, but we have an, another eight, the eight crack in our hand. I think we could pass. I would rather draw or give myself an opportunity to draw the eight crack so that we'd only have to expose one joker. So in this case, I think it's okay Red to pass dragon. on that eight crack or eight bam. Okay, so let's discard this one crack. It's out. One character. The eight bam we can let go of now that it's out. Plus the Three dragon dot. that we're keeping an eye on here is the green dragon. One dot. And that way we could play that third hand down. Red dragon. And no, no eight cracks are out yet. Five characters. Seven dots. Since dot. only one eight bam is out, I probably would hold on to that just for a little bit. Because if we Seven do draw bamboo. an eight crack, we could switch to the first hand and use a joker for the eight. Flower. We'll pass with all these flowers going down. Seven bam. I don't know if the six flower hand would be a good seven bamboo. A good thing to commit to here. Six bamboo. Somebody could be playing, playing a hand with a pair of flowers or maybe even a three character Kong or a double pung flower hand seven dot. so probably we're gonna play that third hand down where we have the flowers Four in our characters. hand already we'll pass there's a hesitation on that four 
Okay, so because we're heading into the Six end game, bamboo. I would discard that now because somebody hesitated on that. They're not ready for it. So I would want to let that go now. If it were middle game and there was a hesitation, I would have kept it. But because we're Eight heading bamboo. into the end game, I do not want to hold on to a tile like that. There goes the second eight bam we're going to pass. And now I would escalate that as a discard. Because there are two out. Three dots. Three dots. Two dot is out. Two dots. There was a hesitation on there. Three dots. I suppose we could have maybe tried for... Nine the first dots. hand under two, four, six, eight with that. I was focused Green on the dragon. eights, but that could have been a possibility there. Okay, now here we could Kong and expose two jokers, but I don't I don't think we should. Not in the end game. We could give somebody opportunities for two jokers. So I would wait. Let's discard let's see here, six dot. Six dots. I think, let's wait and see what happens with the green dragon. We might still be able to play South the six wind. flower hand. Eight in which characters. case, oh, okay, now we have to really think about this. I think what I would do here is calm because we are in the end game. We're going to need a joker regardless, or not a joker, but we're going to need to calm that regardless. We should calm. Kong. We may risk losing those jokers. So we don't need the 8-bam now for sure. Eight we still might be able to use the green dragon. And we can Kong the 8 dots. 8 bamboo. Let's hope we draw the 8 cracks. 5 bamboo. 9 bamboo. Okay, east. Someone is playing winds. East we don't want to hold on to that. Two dots. West wind. Okay, Nine maybe they've bamboo. given up on the winds. I don't know. Okay, two crack. We're going to let that go right now. Two characters. Five bamboo. Seven bamboo. Four dots. Okay, it'd be nice if we can get an eight crack. A six crack. We'll let's see here. Let's let the six crack go. Six characters. <clears throat> One bamboo. We have five more picks and Two three discards. Characters. We should play to win, I think. These are already out, too. The four dot is our riskiest discard, so I think Two we can bamboo. let that go. One bam should be safe. Four dot. That was a little scary. Seven dot. These three tiles should be safe. Nine bamboo. Nine characters. Three bam is out. Three bamboo. Four characters. South wind. Seems like the eight cracks might be Marshall. in the wall. Oh, we have a player with a pair, pair hand going or concealed. All right, so here we have news concealed, and it's, oh, is it pure? No, I think it looks like, oh, no, no, this is a pear hand. They have the pear hand, not concealed. Oh, that's a nice hand. It's very pretty. Very nice pear hand there. Over here, we have three, four, five, six, ready to win on a six dot. And I think we just discarded that a minute ago. Here we have two, four, six, eight concealed. They were waiting on the eight crack. So they didn't see a benefit of exchanging those eight cracks there. 
they were ready to win on a eight dot. So we were in each other's business there. All right, let's play again. Here's a auto, let's jump here. Maybe we can coax the other player to this other table. Hopefully they'll jump over on our table so we can start a game. We're waiting for a player to join our table. Here we go. We have a flower, one, four, eight, nine, and bams, pair of eights, three crack, one, four, eight, nine in dots, east, south, and here's a seven, way on the edge there, seven, eight, nine. I would build around the eight bam, probably something consecutive, seven, eight, nine, so I would let the little numbers go. Here's a mixed suit pass. Seven, eight, nine. We'll play some form of seven, eight, nine, and we're just gonna gather. We'll gather all these tiles around the eight. So sixes might work, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, four numbers in a range around the multiple. There's a seven, so we'll keep it. It looks like someone might have left the table. Anytime you have someone where their exposure or their pass goes out super quick like that, it means that they probably left the table Let's let the east go here. Let's see here. Uh, not game helper, table info. Nope, it looks like they're here. Hmm, okay. Who knows what's happening there? We're gathering seven, eight, nine. Ooh, we got a keeper, an eight bam. See how that went out really quick like that? Usually that means they're not at the table. Let's pass on the two. Seven, eight. We're not gonna be able to use this nine dot really. Probably seven, eight, nine in one suit is what we're gonna be playing. We could, oh, here's a three now. Anytime you build another multiple in here, just reassess. In this case, we, we have pair, a pair of sevens and a pung of eights, so I would keep building there. Some people might be a little tempted to switch to three, six, nine, but we have two multiples that we can leverage, so you want to build around the most of your multiples. In this case, it would be seven, eight. So I would instead keep the six and then keep going and then break up the three dot. So probably... Let the three dot go. And then maybe this eight dot, let the eight dot go. Because we have a pung of eights and a pair of sevens. Joker bait doesn't really, we, we don't have enough discards for Joker bait to work for us this time because you want to have the joker bait in the middle of the middle game and we're still in the Charleston and we have two multiples. So our discards are going to be dwindling, hopefully, as we build our hand. So holding potential joker bait this early is, I don't think works very well. I would rather hold tiles that I could potentially use around my multiples. And that, so that's why I broke up the three. 
Like if we get a five crack, which we just got, we could maybe play five, six, seven, eight, pung, pung, kong, kong. Here's a seven. And then here we have tiles we can pass. So we're just going to gather five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to let the three go again. We could do five, six, seven, eight, pung, pung, kong, kong. Or we could do seven, eight, nine, one suit, kongs. We could do six, seven, eight, one suit, kongs. Here's another eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. They want three, five, six, seven, eight. We could maybe do six, seven, eight, nine. We could maybe do, I think the seven crack probably can go. Although if we get white dragons, we could do seven, eight, seven, eight dragon. Let's let one go, one tile. We're gonna let just one go, the four bam. We can use all these tiles somehow. Six, seven, eight, Kong, seven, eight, nine, Kong, five, six, seven, eight, cracks and bams. We could do seven, eight, seven, eight, dragon. We do have a gap though, no red, uh, no white dragon. So I would put that on the low end of the list. We did not get a keeper. So that can go first. Sound win. All right, so now we gather. If a tile Three is discarded, characters. let's say an eight bam gets discarded. I don't know if I would Three take characters. it right now because we really Four don't know yet what hand we're playing. We did get that joker, so that is helpful. I think what I would do here is let the five go. We're gonna five let that characters. go because we could maybe play six, seven, eight dragon. Red dragon. Uh, since we have that joker to kind of help us a little bit. Two characters. If we get a white dragon, we could do seven, eight, seven, eight dragon. That would be the fourth hand down under consecutive run. We could still do six, seven, eight in one suit or seven, eight, nine in one suit, depending Three on bamboo. what we get. Okay, two we don't need. Two dot. Red dragon. Okay, now there are two red dragons out, so... Oh yeah, we want white dragon, not red dragon. We're okay. But probably the Flower. seven, eight will go, I think. We're gonna pass. There's a big hesitation there. Two bamboo. Okay, seven dot. We do have all the sevens, but where this seven dot is, I don't think I would keep it. Seven dot. We have this pair of seven bams and a pung of eights, so I would focus there. One bamboo. Eight characters. Well, I would not take that. We don't we don't have a white dragon. That would be a gap. So I would Six now bamboo. probably discard that. For the hand that we're potentially playing, we really need a pair there. And we're not ready to Kong, so we're gonna let it go. Oh, so that's interesting. We got the six crack. Okay. We're gonna let this eight crack go. Eight characters. We'll see what happens with that six crack. If we draw a five crack, we might Green be able dragon. to play the Pung Pung Kong Kong again. I let it go earlier. Okay, Green Dragon. I wouldn't take that. It's the first pung. one out. Oh, now look, we have a pair out in a Pung. Seven that dot. Joker's available and I would take it. Seven bamboos. So here, 
I would switch to 789 or 678. I would Kong the seven. Kong. Because we have a hand with no gaps, and now we're going to take this jo Green dragon. The Joker. And we can commit to seven either characters. 678 in BAMs or 789 Kongs. We need a little help with our flower. Eight dot. Eight dot. Eight characters. Three bam can go. Three bamboos. Seven dots. Flower. We're passing. We want a pair there. East wind. Okay, nine crack is not out. It's still in the middle game. I think we should let it go. Nine characters. East wind. Nine characters. Nine dot. We need either a six bam or a nine bam in here. Well, we keep getting a three. Three bamboo. Seven characters. Four bamboos. One character. Four dot can go. Four dot. One dot. Three dot. Pung. We need to draw well. Four dot. Maybe we'll get the seven. Oh, wrong seven. We'll let it go. Seven characters. Seven bamboos. Oh, someone got our joker. Four bamboos. Two dot. Two dot. North is, uh, let's see, someone might be playing wins. I would let this go now. North win. The player on our right, or someone could be doing north and south with a run. The player on our left discarded a south, so I don't think so. Nine dot. We'll see what happens. Seven dot. Someone could be playing a quint, too. There are no Eight white bamboo. dragons out. Okay, that we can Kong. Kong. So now let's discard the six. Six characters. Maybe someone will make an exposure with a joker. That would be when joker bait would work, right about now. So somebody did Four hesitate, bamboo. but they're not ready for it. So we'll discard it right away. Three dot. Nine characters. We got our flower. Six characters. We just need a little help with either the six or the nine. The nine would be ideal because then we might even be able to do a pure hand. West wind. There's a six South bam wind. already out. Four characters. Oh, six crack. Six characters. Let's hope they didn't pick a joker or something. Ooh. That was a little, a little bit scary. Oh, here come the winds. South wind. Two dot. We need a keeper here. Nine dot. That's the wrong suit. Nine dot. Shoot. Wrong North suit. wind. We're looking for a nine South bam. We, it'd be ideal to pick it. Although, regardless of what we pick here, the discard is going to reveal what we're what we're wanting Two because bamboos. we have consecutive Kongs out. Four characters. 
Although I suppose it could be five, six, seven, eight, one and two bamboo. suits. Oh, Joker. Okay. Let's discard the six bam. Six bamboo. I was thinking maybe we should keep the six bam and discard the nine. Because maybe if someone sees the six bam out, they'll Went think it's with. safe. But then six dots. I think having this fresh tile, that means we could maybe White pick dragon. our winning tile from the wall. North wind. I think it's six one half dozen the other, actually. One character. So we're ready to win on a nine bam. And this Six is the dot. third hand down under consecutive run. Somebody got there first. We have a three, six, nine hand to our right. So we have one, three, five dragon. This is the third hand from the bottom under odds. Over here we have, it looks like one, three, five dragon. They had some building to do with the one, three. Here we have a three, uh, let's see here. Um, it looks like a three, six, nine hand, but they don't have three bams. I'm not sure what was happening here, but they had our nines. All right, let's play again. Oh, here's the table. Let's jump there. We're ready to go. We have four players at the table now. We have a flower. One, three, six, nine in bams. Pair three, pair nine. In dots, we have one, two, three, seven with a pair of ones and then a south. This is a great example of building around the most of your multiples. So we have three, six, nine potential, and then we have one, two, three, or even little odd potential. But because we can't use the ones with a three, nine, and we can use three, six, nine together, I think that might be the way to go. However, we could maybe do one, two, three, and one, two, three is more flexible. Either way, we have to make a choice. I think what we could do here is maybe keep the ones for a minute and let the one bam go and just see what happens. Because we could still maybe play a one, three, five hand. So let's just see what we get. We've got a four and an eight and a seven. So this is where I would think about consecutive run. It's much more flexible than three, six, nine. So we have three, four, six, eight, nine, and then we have one, two, three, seven. I would let the seven go. I would probably, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, let the eight go. We have three, six, nine. I think I would focus on three, six, nine. Let's let the two dot go. We could still maybe switch to little odds. Here's another keeper, a three. So now we have one, three, three, four, six, nine. Let's discard south and eight. And then I think we should consider switching to little odds. We have a gap though, no five. We could still maybe play three, six, nine. So let's let the four go. Okay, we have a flower. This is where I would consider maybe that second hand from the bottom under three, six, nine. That would use the flowers, both threes and the nine. So I would break up the one. And this would be building around the most of your multiples, which would be three, six, nine. 
So we're going to let the one dot go and probably play the second hand from the bottom under 369. We don't have to pick a hand until we run out of discards, but I would say that is probably a good hand to pick. We could even pung the three and pung the nine. We need a little help with our six. That's the risk because we need a pair there for that second hand from the bottom under 369. So that would be the ideal keeper for us. Here we have a nine dot that is in our category, so I would probably keep it just to see what develops. For example, we could maybe play the concealed hand, although I wouldn't probably because we'd have to let the threes go. Oh, look, we got the six, so that takes care of that weakness. I would definitely let this nine dot go. So we have three, six, nine, no gaps, second hand from the bottom, under three, six, nine. I don't remember who passed the flower, but as you can see, it's risky to do that. <laughs> I don't remember when it came in. All right, we're ready to pung three, nine. We North just need a little wind. help with our three dot. Sound One wind. good pick and we'll be set. I would discard this west first. Wind. So as far as west calling wind. this early, I would do it. We know what hand we're playing. We have no Green gaps. Dragon. We're probably ahead of the pack right now One bamboo. with only three discards. I would say we have a pretty good chance west of winning wind. this game. So let's discard the red dragon. Red dragon. Does anybody remember who passed the, the flower? I don't remember. Green dragon. Four dot. West wind. Okay, one dot. We'll let that one go. One dot. So... We're looking for a three bam and a nine bam, and I Bound would claim win. a discard Two to make those ex exposures. Again, every time you make an exposure, you are giving away information about your hand, but I think Six we're close bamboos. enough to risk that information getting out. Here's a joker. Five now we can use that for the three dot, which will be a Kong, and we're set. Five bamboos. It's not a guarantee, though. We still have work to Four do. Four dot. It would be ideal to draw these tiles to keep as concealed as possible. Four bamboos. Oh, that's pass. Uh, let's see. That just went out, so we can let that go. Four bamboos. North wind. East wind. One dot. Two dot can go. Two dot. One character. We're looking for a three bam, nine bam. Those are both puns for this Eight hand. wind. And we want to con the three dot. Eight bamboos. We'll pass. Does somebody want it? With a joker, maybe? Uh, okay, so I think we should go ahead and let it go now. Eight bamboo. That would be a risky tile to keep, and it wouldn't make good joker bait. Who knows when we Seven would get bamboo. that other eight. We're going to pass. Two we'll, characters. we'll let this seven bam go next because there was a hesitation there too. White dragon. Seven bamboos. Two characters. Pass. East wind. We're looking for a three bam, nine bam, three dot. East wind. 
Okay, one crack is out. One character. Red Dragon. North Wind. If you're just joining us, we're playing the second hand Seven from the bottom bamboo. under 369. Oh, White Dragon. We don't want to hold on to that. Thankfully, White it was dragon. discarded a minute ago, so nobody wanted it. All right, five crack, Nine none are out. Two crack, two are out. So this five crack should go next. North wind. We're still in the middle game. So Five having a, a fresh tile like that is not too bad. Five but we do characters. want to think about the end game, which is coming up. Maybe four more picks. We have two discards we should Five. play to win. There's the five crack and a joker. Nine a joker's exposed there. All right, let's see. This eight crack is the riskiest tile for us. Eight characters. I think the two, eight characters. two crack can maybe go next. Two dots. We're still waiting to Pung and Kong. One character. Another flower. Let's let this two go. All right, now two let's see characters. if there's something we could switch to. We could switch to three, nine six, nine. Bamboos. Okay, now there. Let's see. We could definitely pung that or kong that. We could switch to, let's see, six bam. One is out. Let's kong. Kong. This way we can use the flowers. One dot. We're, we'll play the second hand down. Two characters. Because we can use the flowers and not discard a flower. It's Eight a little bamboos. bit risky because we still need a three bam in here. None are out though. Nine bamboos. Oh, they got it. I think it was a six one half dozen the other. I didn't want to discard three a flower. Characters. So I thought maybe we could just use it. South wind. Five dots. Red dragon. Five dots. Okay, we're heading into the end game now. We did get the three bam. Three dots. Now we're ready. Well, we're not ready. We're set. But we might be Red able to do wind. a pure hand here. No three bams are out yet. And no, or one six bam is out, and we only need a pung there. Seven dot. Okay, two dot, two are out. Three dot, nobody wanted it. Let's throw the three dot. Three dot. One bamboo. Five dot. Six bamboo. There's a pung. Pung. And now let's let this two two dot go. Two so dot. now we're ready on a pure hand with a three bam. Mahjong. Oh shoot! We got a winner. Oh, we got so close on a pure hand. Okay, so we have a two four six eight hand in one suit. They had jokers. That's nice. Nice to have jokers. This is the first hand under oh. evens. Here we have like numbers with sevens probably. Probably like numbers with sevens. I'm not sure. Here we have four, five, six Kongs. All right, let's play again. That's all right. It happens. I'm okay with it. I don't think they had any exposures, so it's a little hard to figure out what someone's playing when they have no exposures. <laughs> okay, so, oh, let's jump here. Hopefully we'll get to play at least two more games. Hey, what happened just now? We got booted.
Uh oh, there's a guest at the table. There's a somebody who has their name as guest. They stop the Charleston all the time. I typically don't want to play at that table. Let's let's see about this one here. Let's see here. Is this where they are? Oh, there's two guests. No. Oh no, wait. Let's see here. Maybe we'll play at that one. Sambino's playing there. All right, let's do it. I hope this isn't one of the, the guests who stop the Charleston all the time. All right, we'll find out, won't we? All right, so we have... Oops, I wanted to move the joker over there. Okay, so we have a flower, one, three, four, and bams, two crack, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, and dots, and a cell. So here... I would build around the predominant pattern since we don't have any multiples. And we could either do one, two, three, four, or six, seven, eight, nine. And one of the things that I've been working on is efficiency, tile efficiency in American Mahjong. You wanna stay in the middle of the run if you can because you have more flexibility. So I think we should let the nine go and then maybe one of the ones. Let's let the one bam go. We're gonna hold <laughs> one bam came. Maybe it'll come back. Okay, so one, two, three, four. It's still on the edge, but at least we can do two, three, four, five, depending on where how the multiples come in. So the other thing is we could maybe even play two, four, six, eight. Let's let the seven go and focus on one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five, if fives happen to come. Here's our first multiple, a two. So we're gonna build around the two. We did get wins, but only two. And I would I think that I'd rather let one go at a time. So let's think about two, four, six, eight, or one, two, three, four. I think maybe the one can go. And since we have no four dot, I think the eight should go because that would be a gap. I think we should focus on one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four consecutive run building around the two. We got a one. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four. We still don't have to pick a hand. Oh look, we have a we have a pair of souths. I would break that up. We're gonna break it up, and then pass six seven with the south. So we're focused on one two three four. It seems that big numbers are going around, but people do change their hand. Maybe we'll get little numbers. Here's a two. So now we have like numbers with twos. And our range is one, two, three, four. I don't think I would pass two wins together. It's pretty risky to do that. So I think we should let the three go. Three, five not, is not as flexible as four, five. At least it's in two suits if we had passed the four with the five. We got wins again. Let's see, we could let this four bam go, I think. And we're doing the last right. So let's go ahead and break up that south. It would be an awesome if we could get dragons at this point, whether it be white dragon, green dragon, those would be ideal. Because we could maybe switch to a year hand or we could maybe play like numbers with twos here we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Maybe we could play a pair hand. Our guest wants two tiles. We could pass two. Nobody wanted the south. Hi, Sue. Welcome. So we're going to pass the four and the south. South wins.
we want to let these winds go first. Somebody, somebody maybe was keeping winds, so we want to let these go right away. Somebody's thinking about that south. Uh, I hope we're not stuck. Are we stuck? Um, I guess not. South wind. All right. So souths are going down. All right. This south is looking wind. really good for this potential pair hand. We would have to let west a joker wind. go, and I would consider it. We're going to pass. I would maybe switch to 2-3-2-3 dragon if we could get green Thick dragons. Bamboo. If a green dragon comes in, I would switch to probably the fourth hand down under consecutive run. Let's let the wind go. West wind. Six bamboos. So if any threes go down, I would not call. I would wait because we can Four still maybe bamboos. play a pair hand. Third pair hand. Red dragon. Okay, there's a one. That's a keeper if we play the, the pair hand. Four bamboo. Three consecutive numbers and two suits. Four characters. We could maybe even switch to the concealed consecutive hand if that pair hand one doesn't bamboo. work out. Nine characters. Eight bam can go. Eight bamboo. Eight bamboo. We could also maybe play the third hand down under consecutive run if the pair Nine hand doesn't dots. come in. We have we need a one crack and a Seven three crack. Characters. So it's a little bit risky. Three bam. Let's let the six go. Six dots. Hi, Sylvie. Welcome. One character. Okay, that is our tile, but we, we're going to wait, obviously. We're playing concealed. Green dragon. If we get a two ban, Seven I would think about maybe playing the third hand Six from the bottom characters. under consecutive run. One, two, three with twos in the middle. Two bamboos. That would be the tile we would want. <laughs> Nine dots. Seven bamboos. Oh, we got a keeper. Three bamboos. One crack. We need one more good pick for the pair hand, and I would discard this joker. Two bamboos. So we are looking for a three crack or a flower, Five and we'll be dots. ready to win. Three crack or flower. Five dots. One crack. This is where maybe we could switch to the concealed hand, but... I think I would discard that. One or one away from a pair hand. We could still maybe Five play characters. that concealed hand and use a joker. Nine bamboo. If we can get a flower or a three crack, we'll be ready to win. White dragon. Nine bamboo. Another reason why I think this is a good hand to play is because... Let's say Nine we get a three crack. We have several chances to get a flower since there are Four eight. Dots. Okay, eight crack can go. Eight characters. West wind. No three cracks are out yet. White dragon. We want to draw... Either Seven a flower characters. or a three crack. I think it'd be nice to draw a flower, actually. Because hmm. people typically characters. won't discard flowers. Three bamboo. And there are double pungs with flowers. Six characters. So drawing a flower would be ideal, I think. Two dots. That would be a pass. One dot. Oh, pass. 
We need a good pick here. Four characters. A two bam. Two bam. Oh, shoot. No, I think we should stick with it. Two bamboo. There are two out, so it would be very risky to switch to one, two, three with twos in the middle. Seven dots. Our three crack is still not out. Seven no flowers dots. are out, so I think we should stick with the plan. Five dots. West can go. West wind. Nine characters. Eight characters. We need a good pick. Eight characters. Joker. Uh-oh. Shoot. Oh, shoot. All right. We're going to let it go. This Joker. is painful. I was thinking maybe we should play the concealed hand, but we would have to let go Seven of bamboos. two tiles, whereas... We only have Six one dots. discard with a joker. This is very difficult. <laughs> we need a we need a really good pick here. Four bamboo. Come on, we need a keeper. Green dragon. Shoot. Green dragon. Darn it. Green dragon. Oh boy. Be brave. Five bamboo. Be very brave. Yes, be brave. We need a keeper. Nine dots. Flower keeper. That's not a keeper. East wind. We need a, a flower or a three crack. One bamboo. Shoot. We need a keeper in One here. One dot. Pass. One bamboo. Okay, keeper. White dragon. Darn it. At least it's out. White dragon. Oh my goodness. Four characters. Oh. Two characters. Okay, that would be a pass. Okay, we South need a keeper. Wind. Flower. Three crack. Joker. We are ready to win on a flower. Six we're, we're in the end game, though. I don't know who's going to discard a flower. That would be very risky. Six dots. Maybe we'll pick it. We're going to play to win. Three characters. Pass. Red dragon. It was just discarded, I Red thought. Red dragon. Maybe not. Uh-oh. It was discarded Ten. in the early game. Oh, we need Eight a flower. Characters. Oh, I want to pick characters. it. A uh, two bam. Two bamboo. Oh my goodness. East wind. Oh, three flower. dots. We need a flower. We need to pick a flower. Four bamboo. Flower. Eight bam. Eight bamboo. It is a pretty hand. North wind. North. Oh boy. Seven bamboo. Oh, we need a keeper. North wind. Flower. Four dot. Four dot. Oh, this is going to be a little risky. Four dot. There's only one out. We're playing to win, though. East wind. Four dot. Okay, here comes our pick. After Eight this bamboos. here. Okay, keeper. Four crack. Three are out. Four characters. Oh my goodness. Nine dots. I don't know Joker. who would, I don't know who would throw a flower Six right bamboos. now. We need a keeper. East is out. East we get wind. one more pick. One more pick. Three characters. Pass. North wind. One more pick. It would be nice if it's North a flower. North wind. Three dot. It's out. 
I mean, it's it was in our dog. hand, plus someone threw it. I doubt any, nobody's going to throw a flower right now. So Joker. Let's hope that it's a wall game. White dragon. Yep, there we go. Wall game. Oh, we tried though. Let's see. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight. The flowers were in everybody's hand. We were all fighting for flowers. Well, we weren't fighting for flowers. Over here, they had all the flowers they needed, but they needed a six crack pair and they went down. Over here, two, four, six, eight flowers. They needed flowers. Over here, they needed a pair of flowers. So we were kind of fighting for flowers. Uh, yeah, it happens. But we tried. All right, let's see. Maybe we could play one or two more games. We'll see. Oh, Sambino's at the table again. We need one more person to jump on this table. Maybe we could inspire someone to come over. Well, come on over. The water's fine. Um, thank you for your support. That was a bit painful. We could have maybe switched to a couple of hands, but you just never know. Okay, someone needs to jump on this table. How come they're not coming over? Let's jump over here. Maybe it'll entice somebody to move. Come on over. Come to this other table. Somebody's being stubborn. There we go. All right, we've got our four players. Okay, we have tiles. One nine in bams, pair nine, two, three, four in cracks, pair three, three, seven, eight in dots. Green dragon, white dragon, and a north. I think the north can go. To build around our multiples, we would play a three, six, nine hand. So let's let the one go. We could maybe do two, three, four consecutive run, which is more flexible. I think we should let the dragon go and see what happens with three, six, nine. If two, three, four build up, I would switch to that because it's more flexible than three, six, nine. If we do something in mixed suits with three, six, nine, we would need flowers for most of those hands. Here are wins. Oh, and here's a five, three, four, five. Let's let a wind go. We have two, three, four, five there. So it looks like consecutive run is gonna be better for us. Let's let the eight go. It would be risky to let a seven, eight in one suit go. Seven, eight in one suit. I think what I would do here is I don't like passing white dragons. I don't think I would pass that. And I don't usually pass two wins together. I think we should break up the nine and gather two, three, four, five. It's much more flexible and the likelihood of gathering those tiles are greater than playing in a three, six, nine. We just got fours, which is in our range. We have one through five also. So now we have tiles here that we can pass and we have almost all one through five with just a white dragon here to get rid of, probably. One through five building around the three. And I wouldn't pick a hand yet. We're just gonna gather until we run out of discards.
we have another multiple. Oh, here's a six too. Now we have a four bam in here, a pair, four bam. So I would reassess. Okay, so we should definitely keep going. The six can go, probably the green dragon can go. We have three, four, four, three, four. I'm thinking the four, let's see, two, three, four. Let's let the four dot go. We've got a three bam. So now we have three, four, three, four dragon potential. Let's let the one, the east, and the three dot go. We could maybe play the fourth hand down, three, four, three, four dragon. That would use both multiples, three, four, three crack, four bam. No keepers here. I don't like passing two wins, so I don't think I would do that. We have <coughs> three, four, five, three, four, three, four. I think the one can go. We're going to build around the four bam and the three crack. We have a three dot east. I think these can go. Three dot. Oh, we're in the optional. I don't want to say how many I want first. I want them to. Sylvie's asking if you, this was on the last game. If you had four picks left and only needed one tile, would you have thrown a flower? Probably, probably not, but that would just be a guideline. I, I, I think it depends on my hand. I was playing a pair hand. If I was playing a pair hand and I was ready to win, I might, but I don't know. I think we're gonna say no here. No. Maybe they want just one tile and I do not wanna play, play that game. Okay, I'm thinking we should gather two, three, four, five and discard these wins first. Sound win. I was just trying to, oh, I see Evelyn asked about dropping Sam. It wasn't so much that I was dropping Sam, it's that I wanted to jump Two onto dot. a table where we could play. I didn't want to wait um, for dot. someone to join the table, so I was hoping that he would join me and Nine jump on win. the table too. Okay, so let's let the eight go. Eight we have a pair of these we don't need. It's a bit early in the game for joker bait. Usually East win. joker bait would work. Okay, so see, there goes the East. Nobody wanted it. Usually joker bait Two works bamboo. in the middle of the middle game, which would be a right, right around where the break in the wall East is. Bamboo. So we're going to let that go. East win. So I think we still should gather One Two, three, character. four, five, but we have a hand with no Four gaps. Dot. Fourth hand down, two, three, or three, four, three, four, dragon. Eight bamboo. Okay, and that that would East wind. inspire me to commit to that hand. Eight Fourth dot. hand down, three, four, three, four. We are not quite, let's see, we are actually set. We could pung the four bam, Five pung the bamboo. four crack, kong the dragon. So yeah, I would commit to any discard. If, if any of these tiles get discarded, I would act Eight on dot. it and call it because we know what hand we're playing Red and dragon. we have no gaps. And we even have one of the pairs secured. So the only risk is the three bam. Dragon. Okay, let's Kong. We'll Kong with one joker Kong. and now we'll discard the two crack. Two characters. We, so we have two discards right now. Seven bamboo. Six characters. Eight A bamboo. A three bam would be an ideal pick. That, that'll work though. 
we, we need a pwn there. So now we have one discard. A character. We have one. We have a weakness. Our three bam. We need a pair there. Five bamboo. It's a little hard to tell. Four dot. If we have a competition for that tile. Green dragon. We have a five bam out. A one, one five crack. Pong. My guess is no, nobody's playing. South wind. Like little odds, let's say. Flower. Trying to think of who might have that three bam with a Kong of dragons. A Kong a of character. green dragons. It could be something consecutive. It could be in the even Big category. Characters. I suppose it could be a year hand, but one no, bamboo. we have all the dragons. Well, not all of them. There's one white dragon still out, so they could be playing a Eight year hand characters. with dragons. Eight We're looking for a four bam or a four crack to pung. We're playing the fourth hand down under consecutive run. Red dragon. So they're probably not playing the year hand with dragons. Okay, seven bam is out. Let's throw the three. Three dot. Two characters. Five characters. North wind. South. Two are out. Let's discard the seven. Seven bamboo. North wind. I think winds are safe. Somebody, let's see. No wests are out at the moment. I was thinking Nine maybe characters. someone's playing a quint, but all the dragons are out. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. Kong. Uh oh. Oh no. Nine crack. Let's hope they're not playing three six three nine. Bamboo. Oh, there's our tile. Three bam. Uh oh. There was a hesitation there. I think somebody Nine else might characters. have a three bam. Two bamboo. We need to get one of these fours. Eight characters. West. We'll let that go. West wind. Six characters. Uh oh, three bam. This is a risky, risky tile, but I think we're close enough. We Two should dot. we should stick with it, I think. I think the player on our left Two characters. could be holding a three bam. South okay, wind. now we're ready to win on a three bam. Three characters. Okay, we're good there. I was kind of hoping that other player would discard a three, three bam. Bamboo. There it is. Three bam. Ready to win. Mahjong. Mahjong. Oh, we have a couple of uh, people who might have had our tiles. All right, so we have three six or a three four three four dragon, three four three four dragon fourth hand down under consecutive run. Over oh. here we have a three six nine hand. I think they were trying for three six nine with flowers, but they couldn't get flowers. I think they were hoping for a flower. They could have maybe been trying for the first three six nine hand. Uh, three six dot six nine bam but they also might have been wanting a flower where they just needed a pair and then oh. over here like numbers with ones and of course they needed the one crack not the one bam but all right let's see if we can play one more game thank you for the the support the kudos thank you thank you very much we'll try to play one more game here one more game. We just need a player to come onto the table here. One more player. I wonder if they know they can jump to this table. Come on now. Come on over. Come on over. One more player.
There we go. Okay. We have interesting tiles. Three, five, seven in bands with a pair of threes. A five crack. One dot pair with a two. Then we have one of each of the dragons and a west. I think we could maybe try for little odds or maybe consecutive run. One, two, three, four. We have no flowers, so I think we're going to have to be creative. I think one of these tiles are going to have to go. Let's see, one, three. I, there's no way to really use these dragons at the moment. I think we should let the dragon go. Oh, look, we have a five bam. Maybe we could play little odds. Let's let this green dragon go. Or you know what we should do? Maybe the five. We'll let the five go. If we get a three dot, we could play one, three, three, five, second or third hand down. We did get a five bam. We're kind of playing a gap hand at the moment. We really don't have to pick a hand yet because we do have discards, but I'm thinking this two dot can go and we can use that joker for the missing three dot. It's a little bit risky to do that though. All right, let's see. So there's a six, nine. We definitely need to keep going. I think I would stick with it. Since we have a pung of five bams, I think we should let the the two five go and hope for a three dot. Otherwise we can define this joker as a three dot. We got a three dot. No longer playing a gap hand. And we have tiles we can pass. And I would call on any of these. We're not quite set. We need another three dot or a three bam to get set. We got a five back. I think we can pass these on. The hand we're playing can use any number of jokers. This is the third hand down under odds. And I would go ahead and commit because we have no gaps. I would just pass these on. Well, let's see how many they want. They want two, so we'll do two. One, three, three, five. We need pung, pung, kong, kong. We're not set. We could pung, pung or kong, kong. We can't do it all, though. We're one away from set. Oh, they only want two. Yeah, we only need to pung the three dot. Oh, there's a five dot pair we don't need. We'll just keep that for a while. Eat wind. Maybe we could let this white dragon go first. Seven bamboos. Eat wind. Oh, white dragon. I was going to discard the south. When do you have to name a joker? Two bamboos. Um, you can define a joker uh, any time. Six characters. Like, we could do it right now. Four but dots. When you want to do it is when you have a gap. North wind. Right now, we don't have a gap in our hand. We've got every tile represented, so we don't need to define a joker. Six bamboos. But let's say we didn't have a three dot. You double click on the joker and then a dialog box opens. It says define joker North or discard wind. joker. And that's when you, South so wind. we'll let that go. I'll show you. So you double click on the joker and then you say define joker. And then you would have a dialog box with all the tiles and you would pick the tile you South want it to wind. be. 
So there it's defined as a three dot. Nine characters. I'm going to undefine it. We'll discard that seven dot. Seven dot. Because we might be able to use that to help us Kong the three. So I don't want to define it. Five Only define dot. a joker if you have a gap. We're going to pass. And nobody wanted that three or they're not characters. ready for that five dot. We might hold it for a little bit longer. Somebody five still characters. might need that. Let's let the nine bam go. Nine bamboos. So we're we're set on three of these exposures. We need one more good pick Flower. to get ready to win or to get set. Pun. I call set being ready one to character. claim a discard for every block in your hand. That's set. Some people call Nine being dots. set being ready to win, but I call that ready to win. All right, let's discard six crack. Six Here's a characters. four, bam, three, four, five. But I wouldn't be distracted by that. We could put Two it dot. in order, I suppose. This would be everything in order here. The four, bam, we don't Easy need. Win. Pair of five dots we don't need. One dot. We need to pung that. Pung. And now let's discard the four crack. Four characters. White dragon. Maybe the four bam could go next. Pung. Okay, Last so we have way. a pung, a pung of flowers and a pung of white dragons. A pung Nine of flowers. Oh, they're playing the all dragon hand. All Eight dragon dots. hand, pung of flowers, pung of dragons, and then kongs of the One other bamboo. two dragons. So Nine dragons bamboo. are going to be risky. <laughs> Six bamboos. Five crack we don't need. <clears throat> Four bamboos. <coughs> I have a little frog in Easy my throat. Win. Mm. Nine characters. We need one good pick. Maybe we'll get the white dragon. That's a joker over there. Four bamboos. Eight bam. This five is out. Five characters. Nine dots. Right now, nobody can tell what we're playing, so we want to be careful not to expose Nine if we don't characters. have to. That's why I'd rather pick. Four characters. It would be ideal to pick our winning tile. Let's see. Let's discard this eight. Eight bamboo. We're heading into the end game. We're still in the middle game by about three more picks. Two bamboo. This four crack probably is going to be safe. I think we should go ahead and discard Six the five dots. dots. Maybe we'll be able to get a joker out of the five dot. It was discarded a while ago and nobody wanted it. Nine dot. So probably not eight dot. <clears throat> Let's let that go first. Eight dot. Let's see, three flowers and dragons. I think I think eight that's the characters. only hand that could be all dragons. Six dot. South wind. We got a keeper. Let's let that five, five go. Dot. Okay, so now we're set. We can pung the three dot, pung the three and five. Six characters. Oh, I don't like to pass dragons. I, I try to pass just one at a time if I have to. But we're ready to pung and kong here. Seven dot. Uh, three dot, that would be a keeper. Four characters. We're one away from ready now. Eight characters. One away from ready, but Five bamboo. another exposure is going to reveal what we're doing. We're going to Kong. Kong. We'll discard that five dot. Five dot. And everyone will know what we're playing now. Eight characters. Ready on a three dot or a three bam. Five dot.
They're probably trying to figure out what we're playing. Eight bamboos. Four bam. We got Four close bamboos. to it. One dot. Safe tile. Oh, this white dragon Eight is dot. still available. Maybe we'll draw the white dragon for a win. That would be nice. Eight bamboo. Okay, we need a keeper here. A four bam. Four bamboo. We got a four bam again. Seven characters. Nine dot. Neither of these tiles are out. Eight and, dot. And we're in the end game now. Two characters. That's a fresh tile. Ooh. Seven characters. Flower. Oh boy. Flower in the end game. That's a scary discard. Two characters. Okay, we need a keeper here. That's close, but mm, two bamboo. Not quite what we need. Six characters. West wind. We do not want to draw. I'm not going to say it. We need a three. West wind. Three. One bam can go. One bamboo. It's a little bit risky. Only one is out. Flower. Oh, ho, 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 ho. flowers in the end game. Seven characters. Okay, our turn is coming up. We, one bamboo. We need a keeper here. North, that should be safe. North wind. We have five more picks. Six bamboos. There's a hesitation. Mm. Seven bamboos. One bamboo. Okay, keeper. Eight bam. Eight oh, bamboos. Well, at least we're having good discards. We're One character. Looking for a three dot or a three bam. Oh, they got a, they picked a, what did they pick? A joker. They picked a joker. All right, all dragons. That's a pretty hand. Nice win there. Over here, they have, it looks like two, three, four Kongs. They had our three dots. And then over here, we have a player one through five, and they had a three bam. So they were holding it. They could have been playing that first consecutive hand, but they had a risky discard, that three bam. All right, that's going to do it for this live stream. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the live stream where we talked about calling discards for exposures. I hope you found it helpful. The next live stream will be Friday night, and that will be Simply Social Let's Play live stream. So hope to see you there. And then we'll have one more Monday night Let's Play live stream before Mashkan. So Monday night will be a lot of fun if you're available Monday night. Thank you, moderators, for helping monitor chat. And thank you for hanging out with me tonight. You're welcome. We'll see you in a couple days. If, you, if you're watching the repost, thank you so much for watching my videos. Yes, thanks for coming, everybody. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks 